Our final candidate's profile looks at a man who made the Guinness Book of World Records for his political escapades. Judy Train, was it, uh, what was it like uh, meeting John Trammell? Caroline, he is impossibly interesting. The 49-year-old Trammell has been convicted of running illegal gambling operations seven times. He owes the Canadian government about half a million dollars. He hasn't paid taxes in over 15 years. He has no savings, yet he has the gall to run for political office. This is John C. Trammell, a former electrical engineer, a professional gambler, and a mayoral candidate could offer everybody in town an interest-free Ottawa dollar credit line, which would allow them to pay off all their interest-bearing debts. Camille wants Ottawa to change over into an international bartering system called LEX. Residents would use their skills and time as currency, inheritance would not exist, and when you die, all your remaining assets are divided amongst the most needy in society. So I have all this information at my website, cyberclass.net slash Termel. Because of his strong advocacy of let, Tremel is often seen as a man with half a deck of cards up here. But the man does gamble for a living, and when it comes to the game of poker, he always has a full house. I play poker four months a year, and it finances everything. During this election, I've been driving to Port Perry and Casino Rama, where they have poker in Ontario. And I've played one weekend in Aquasophony. Winner at the tables, loser at the polls. Standard joke. So uh, why would someone with a great interest-free machine like me to offer the voters never have gotten in will be one of the riddles of history. This year he's running for mayor and a federal seat, which means he's now running 52 electoral campaigns, a world record. Kamel doesn't seem to tire, even though he believes the cards are stacked against him. I get my missions accomplished by spreading the word and the fact that the elections are undemocratic and rigged and I'm really being cheated means I don't feel bad about losing. Tamal's bartering system has been recognized by the UN as a possible model for developing countries and as mentioned in the story, he is running for a federal seat as well for Ottawa West Nepean. Part of his platform will include the legalization of marijuana. He doesn't understand why Prozac is prescribed for to relax people, to mellow people out when they could use dope.